The convoy of aid vehicles had just left a Gaza warehouse, clearly marked with the logo of the World Central Kitchen, when they were hit by a series of Israeli airstrikes. Tonight, the White House among those sharply criticizing Israel. We were outraged to learn of an IDF strike that killed a number of civilian humanitarian workers yesterday. This incident is emblematic of a larger problem. Seven aid workers were killed, including a dual U.S.-Canadian citizen. Late today, President Biden calling World Central Kitchen founder, celebrity chef Jose Andres, to offer condolences. Andres writing, the Israeli government needs to stop this indiscriminate killing. It needs to stop restricting humanitarian aid, stop killing civilians and aid workers, and stop using food as a weapon. <laughs> Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying Israeli forces unintentionally harmed non-combatants. And writing, our hearts go out to their families, saying Israel will investigate and we will do everything in our power to ensure that such tragedies do not occur in the future. It was a mistake. Israel's top general saying the strike was a mistake following a misidentification. NBC News mapped the locations of the aid group's destroyed vehicles, finding at least three strikes over a mile and a half length of Coastal Road. The aid group says they coordinated their movements with the Israeli military ahead of time. We pressed an Israeli government spokesman. Israel tells the world that its strikes are based on precise intelligence, that it takes measures to make sure there are not civilians in the area. How can that possibly be true, given what happened here? There's a war going on. It's a war zone. And in every war, sadly, um, tragically, uh, mistakes happen. And we do our very utmost to avoid those mistakes. Among those killed yesterday, Australian Zami Frankham. NBC's Richard Engel met her last month as she helped organize an aid drop. The situation in Gaza is, as we all know, incredibly bad. Um, It's going to require all of us working together. Tonight, heartbroken colleagues carrying the bodies of the victims to the Egyptian border, preparing to leave Gaza with the prayers of those they came to help. And World Central Kitchen is now pausing aid deliveries. Meanwhile, the U.N. says this was not an isolated incident. Around 200 aid workers, most Palestinian, have been killed in Gaza since the start of the war. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.